everybody, this is Kevin from Hideaway Homestead. Wanted to give you an update on what's going on with the greenhouse. We had to make a few changes to it since the last time, and so we wanted to show you an updated version of what happened. We got it built. Showed you a few minutes ago. These hoops right here we call them. And they were laying on the ground a couple minutes ago. Now we've got them all up and attached at the top up there where those T's are, crosses I guess they actually are. And so now they form the ribs of this greenhouse. And we got the door in place in the front. So now we have to build the other door for the other end. And it's right there on the ground. And that will be the next thing we do. This is looking at it from the other side. And we'll be putting this other door on shortly. All right, we got this up. And what we're doing now is we're putting these little pieces of strips of wood across the top so that when we put the Visqueen over the greenhouse we've got something that we can staple the visqueen to the top of this so what I'm doing now is I'm using these zip ties and we're just fastening this down with these zip ties to keep the wood held against the, the PVC I suppose the alternative to this would be you could put screws through the wood and into the PVC that would work also but for now, we're going to put these on here and see what happens and run this the full length of it and then we'll start putting the Visqueen on and see how that turns out. Hopefully, it will work good. Okay, what we did was we cut these three pieces into equal lengths. Each piece of this, one by, is six foot two inches long. Our greenhouse, the total length of the greenhouse is 18 feet six inches. So we cut them equal. We also cut the end of this at a taper. And what happens is when we put this up, this end will be on the very end over the door. And we did this because when we put the Visqueen over it, if we don't have a tapered edge, the square edge will eventually rip that Visqueen and make a hole. So we tapered it so that it's got a smooth surface to go across. So this is our last piece for the top, and we're going to get this put up. We're ready to put the Visqueen over the top of the greenhouse now. What we're doing is we're putting the Visqueen out on the, on the ground here. We're going to lay it out, the whole strip. This is 25 feet long, and it's 10 feet wide. So we're going to unfold it, open it all the way up, and then we'll fold it lengthwise halfway at our 10 foot mark. And then we'll put our 10 foot mark in the center of the greenhouse, and that way we've got enough uh, on both sides to drape it all the way over. So right now what we're doing is we're unfolding this Visqueen so we can get it ready to put up there on the house. All right, we got this spread out and we've got it folded in half. So what I'm gonna do now is take a magic, uh, Sharpie and just mark it here in the center where it's folded. This doesn't have to be perfect just so we know where it is. Either end. So we know that's the center of it. And now we'll take this whole thing over to the greenhouse and pull it up to the center and then staple the center of this in the top of the greenhouse where we've got a piece of wood run. And then we can, after that, we can fold the other side down on the other side and we'll have both sides covered. So let's go do that.
is the finished product. Well, almost finished. We still have a couple of things we need to do to it to finish it off. But for the most part, it's pretty, mo pretty much finished. We still have to go back and clamp the center of the Visqueen together to make it stay together. And we're going to plan to put some straps down on this lower part about halfway up and we're going to put a crank on it that will roll up the sides about halfway whenever it's hot. We can do that and open it up a little bit get some ventilation inside. And we haven't done that yet so that'll be next time we come to finish this off. But for now it's up. It looks pretty good. We like it. Here are some changes that we have made to our greenhouse and one of them is that we, Kevin put up a little post with this cute little bee skep that my daughter Kimmy gave us so we got a special place for it right here at the front of the greenhouse. One day we looked out here and the, we had had a windstorm and I suppose rain probably too but the outside of the greenhouse had just collapsed upon itself. At that time we did not have the two pieces of visqueen attached to each other on the center spine and so air could get in and blow around in there. I think that was part of the issue but it was very disappointing. So we determined that we could not make it with just the PVC uh, bottom pipe to hold these spires, spines together, so we had to make modifications, and this is what we ended up doing. What we're going to do is go inside and we'll show you what we put in and show you what changes we made to the outside structure of this thing. We had to come in here and down at the bottom, we had to run 2 by 4s along the bottom and then attach the pipes, the PVC pipe, to the wood like you can see there. We had to put screws through the pipe into the wood to keep them in place because it seemed like every time the wind would blow real hard and we had a storm come through and we just pulled those pipes right out of those little metal straps and we were all starting all over again. So we did that and that seems to have worked. We also came back in and added these 2x4s right here in these bracing pieces up in the top here and added a 2x4 in the middle also up here and that seems to have uh, strengthened the top of it. The top seemed to be sagging a lot uh, to start with, although we still had these little small pieces of wood running along the PVC pipe, it still wasn't sturdy enough to hold the roof up. So we added 2x4s and that seems to have taken care of it. We cut these 2x4s at, at a slight angle so that they would attach flat to the top piece and they are also angled to attach here to the side piece and Kevin screwed them in with several screws at each joint location so they are quite firm. I think he could probably swing on these and <laughs> not cause yeah. any damage. Yeah, they just about will hold me up. <laughs> the strong. little one by cross pieces are just to sort of brace it and hold the 2x4s to each other. The wind pulls from a different direction. Hopefully this will all be good. We've had several storms since then and no issues with our happy little greenhouse. Yeah, another thing too that we can use these for, we talked about, is we can hang things up here. You know, if we have plants or something we want to hang up, we can hang them on these little one buys and that'll hold those up too. So those or tools. Or tools, yeah, anything. Yeah. So those will probably serve a, a dual purpose. <laughs> a lot of things. I bet this thing, this greenhouse is twenty degrees hotter than the already hot outside. It's like oh, yeah. instant sweat. Yeah. Here it is the second Saturday of March, but it is hot in here. Um, I'm afraid that we probably can't use this until it cools off because it'll wither our plants too fast. But yeah. we have other plans to um, bring in some ventilation 
from yes. the bottom. So when we do that, we'll put a video out on how we work that out too. Yes. Show them what you have in your hand. Yes. Okay. These are little clamps, we call them. And they're made for the half inch PVC pipes that we have on the outside. And they just, they go on top of the visqueen and it tightens it up against the PVC pipe and keeps it in place. And we can go out and outside in just a minute and show you what those look like. But these have a little metal piece right here. There's two of them on here that, that makes it really tight. And you can get these online from Amazon. And this happens to be a 19 millimeter, it says right there. And they make them for half inch PVC or uh, three quarter inch PVC or whatever size you need. So if you look for those, make sure you get the size of whatever it is you have. Um, and these are real good. They are real strong. Once you clamp those things on there, they're staying. They're not going anywhere. Even so, if you want to pull them <laughs> off, they don't yeah, go anywhere. As we found out. So anyway, so let's walk outside and take a look at what these look like installed on the outside. All right, this is what we what they look like. This is one of them that's been installed on the PVC pipe right here. And it's like I said earlier, it's just clamped onto the top of the PVC. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can get this one back on here. I don't know if I can or not. Sometimes it takes me and Carol both to put these on because it's so tight. But they just clamp on like that. And you have to really try to get those things off of there. And what that does is it keeps the, it tight onto the pipe. And when the wind does blow, it keeps the wind from getting under it and flapping this thing around like a big tent or something. And that way those, uh, those won't come loose and the, and the visqueen doesn't come off. So, so far it's worked out pretty good for us. Okay, right in the center of this visqueen right here, we basically what we did was we joined two pieces of visqueen because we couldn't get a piece wide enough to cover the whole greenhouse. So we joined it right here in the center. And what we did was, this is a seam. You probably can't see it because we've got it taped. And we just used clear tape and ran it all the way down this seam to close that up. And that keeps the wind also from getting underneath the edge of them and flapping it again, flapping it around and knocking the thing apart. So that worked out pretty good for us too. We don't know how long it will last. This is our first time doing this with a greenhouse and so we're sort of experimenting as we go. So if any of you have experience with this, uh, what you've done and what worked or what didn't work, if, if you want to let us know, we would be more than happy to hear it. So let us know. Well, thanks for joining us here on Hideaway Homestead today. We hope you learned a little bit from this. Hopefully you can tell us some things that we didn't know. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. Leave us comments, ask us questions. Also, it would help us a great deal on our channel if you would pass along our information to your family and friends and get them to subscribe also. So until next time, thanks for joining us here on Hideaway Homestead.